Thank you. Uh, good morning. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, I'm not used to speaking to a uh, very large crowd. Now, today I'll, I'll be discussing uh, this quite and quite, uh, I'm not sure if you call it new because this has been conceptualized 13 years ago. However, uh, there are a lot of people who doesn't know about OpenMD and that's what I will, I will be talking about today. Now this is the outline of my talk. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make this uh, short. Uh, 13 years ago, at a supercomputing 1997 held at uh, San Jose, California, uh, this open MP a portable uh, program interface for shared uh, memory parallel computers was introduced by industry representatives and scientists. What they wanted to do then is to write programs that could, have, that could exploit the parallelism in shared memory uh, machines. And in fact, what they did is they created this uh, OpenMP architecture review board uh, to own and maintain the standard. Uh, what is OpenMP? It is an application, it is an API, an application program interface that may be used exclusively uh, direct, uh, direct multi threaded shared uh, memory parallelism. It is. It has. A, it has three components: uh, compiler directives, runtime library uh, routines, environment uh, variables. It is portable. It, it, you can you can you can use OpenMP in your C or C++ programs. And if you are familiar with Fortran, you can also use OpenMP. It is actually implemented most uh, most uh, uh, major platforms like. Linux and Win, uh, Windows NT. And hopefully it becomes a standard, an ANSI uh, standard. Short version, open, multi-processing. So that's open and B. Uh, the long version is open specifications for multi-processing via collaborative work between interested parties from the hardware software industry, government, and academia. Now, what is the what is the programming model behind uh, OpenMP? It's actually a very simple model. If you want something to be parallelized, what you do is you create several threads and work that that would work on a particular part of the program. So the program starts with a single thread, okay, denoted by this uh, red arrow, okay? and then a team of threads is formed at the beginning of a parallel region. Uh, parallel region. And this is the parallel region as well, so these three things. And then the threads are joined at the end. So that is essentially the idea of uh, OpenMP, a form joint programming model. Uh, essentially what happens is that the team of threads is created to execute the code in a parallel region. And then additional information enable threads to have private copies of the same data if that's uh, needed. And then the end of parallel region is an explicit, uh, implicit. You can make it explicit, but essentially the end of the parallel region uh, is that it's actually a barrier synchronization. At the end, at the end of the region, uh, all the variables are synchronized. The common approach is to distribute work in, okay, to work in a for loop. Okay, that's a for loop. Considerations, uh, iterations needs to be independent. We can say the iteration or has, uh, does not does not affect the program outcome. And then an alternative approach is assign work to threads within a parallel region. Uh, we'll, we'll have an example of this later. The memory model is a shared memory model. The, by, by default, data is shared among threads and it's feasible to all of them. The use of private uh, data may result to reduction in the frequency of updates. And then essentially, a flash operations ensures that the thread calling it the same values as uh, for shared data objects. That's, that's the main, uh, I'm sorry, uh, that's, uh, that's wrong spelling, that should be memory. Some uh, considerations, and this is, uh, this is very essential in 
uh, in doing parang programming before 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 you use the before you employ parallelism in your program, you have to ensure that the program is correct. Uh, uh, a difficult uh, bug to uh, discover is the database condition. Uh, the, the, the difficulty in this is the database is not reproducible the output. Whenever you run a particular file program, the output may be different in each and in each one. So that's the reason why before you um, before you uh, integrate parallelism, you have to make sure that the progress is running correct and ensure that the performance is uh, acceptable after after the this after the parallelism. How do you measure the speed up? It's actually very uh, intuitive. If T1 denotes execution time of an application using one processor, then TP denotes the execution time if you have a P processors, then the parallel speed up is essentially the fraction of T1 divided by TP. The upper limit can be uh, assessed or estimated using the Amdocs law, which is formulated this way. Now here's the, here's the here's a very simple open MD Hello World uh, program. Uh, this is written in uh, C. You can also compile this in C++. Actually, this I, I think this is in C++ uh, sorry, style. Need to include the the header file OM, OMP <coughs> and then you also have to include the file system uh, standard I/O. <coughs> Okay, if you, take a look, if you take a look at this, the, the program is actually, the program looks like a typical C program. The only difference is that you put this pragma directive, pragma OMP parallel. You simply say you want to execute this in parallel. If you are using GNU C++ compiler, you can compile this program and then just uh, invoke this particular uh, option dash f open mp and compile it. The output here is prog. The input is assuming that the name of this program is prog.cpp and you actually ex execute it. There will be two hellos one from one coming from thread number one and one coming from thread number uh, zero. This is assuming that your computer has two cores, we can say, which is very, very uh, prevalent nowadays. If you purchase a new computer, also most likely you'll have a, you have you'll have two cores in your uh, say in your browser. That is essentially it. Now, if you if you compile the program without the dash f open np uh, option, it will still compile. However, if you do that, only one core will be uh, say only one core will be used. Now what if you don't have, uh, what if your computer is an old version which doesn't have AD, AD uh, it's, it only has, uh, it has one core only. You can, you can, you can trick the compiler, you can trick the compiler in SAP. In the sense that you can set up the number of threads in your program, just in case you don't have a, a dual core or quad core computer. You can still emulate parallel computing by simply setting up the number of threads, say, like this. And then just, well, simply uh, simply run the program again. In this case, observe that there is this master thread which is designated as a zero. And then these three and uh, these three outputs are coming from three separate threads. Okay? So, Thread ID one, thread ID zero, and thread ID two. This is how matrix multiplication is done, uh, open MP style. Okay. If you take a look at this code, this is essentially the code to multiply this matrix with this vector. Okay, the output is this vector at the left hand side. The code for that is this one. Uh, as is, this particular code will work without 
without a parallelism. But if you want, if you want to invoke parallelism, all you need to do is just add this. Okay. And the good thing about OpenF is that your program will still run even if you don't have a par even if you don't have uh, say a dual core uh, or quad core uh, say processor. One last example. So I suppose this is a very it's a very familiar problem, the sorting problem. Uh, the idea is suppose you have an ordered sequence. Uh, I'm sorry. Suppose you have a sequence and you want you want to have an ordered sequence like this. The idea is you know, open MP style. You divide the work to two and let each core does have to work and then merge to solve. Now this is the merge sort. <coughs> That this is a typical merge sort. The idea is, in, the idea is to divide the uh, array into two, okay? And then after after doing the merging, uh, doing calling merge sort okay, recursively, after which simply merge the result of the two calls the merge sort. To do that in parallel using open MP, all you need to do is add this uh, was this add this uh, directives, okay? Take a look at it. It's simply exactly the same as the previous one, only with additional additional uh, directives. Okay. Uh, theoretically, uh, merge sort would run at n log n. I did this using uh, p600, uh, 6000, uh, with two cores. Uh, it run, suppose n is uh, 10,000, uh, I'm sorry, 10 million. It would run at 1.6 uh, seconds. Uh, the parallel uh, merge sort would take uh, 0.9 seconds. Which is, which actually, uh, which is plausible because uh, in parallel merge sort, essentially what you do is you divide the work. So that would be n divided by 2 log of n divided by In conclusion, uh, OpenM is a well-designed API. Okay. It is relatively easy to learn. And the prevalence of multi-core uh, processors enable you to, uh, to experiment on this. Uh, I actually challenge uh, the, uh, the, was just the participants today to experiment on OpenMP. The reason why I'm doing this is because, uh, I'm telling you this is because, uh, multi processors will be uh, it, it will not uh, it will not go away. Okay? Essentially, if you are if you are using a multi processor computer and you're not actually exploiting uh, all of this uh, exploiting this uh, this resource, uh, the other cores will simply be wasted. It's actually a good thing to begin understanding how parallelism works, and you begin to learn uh, parallel uh, algorithms. I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, schools that doesn't, uh, it's not teaching, it's not teaching at all, say, this, uh, this kind of algorithms, which is uh, something that I think most of you should uh, learn on your own after graduation. And that way, you'll be able to maximize the use of multi-core processors. Now, the good thing about uh, internet is that actually nowadays you can you can you can actually go to various websites and learn OpenMP. Uh, and I, I I want to point to this to these two URLs, OpenMP.org, and then uh, this is a a more comprehensive introduction to OpenMP. Just visit Wikipedia. Uh, Wikip Wikipedia.org wiki uh, open okay. If you have the money to buy a book, uh, this is actually a very nice uh, book by Barbara Schachman, uh, Gabriel Just, and Ruth Van Der Pass. Okay, this is uh, published by MIT uh, Press. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.
Hope. If they 